India's man crush, the world's man crush, and everybody else's other man crush, women crush. You know, so we've got two halves. Vani Ranvi, thanks so much for joining me. Thank you, thank you, you sir. It, it really is uh, unbelievable on Star Stop. I've got the two of them in here. A, I feel that I, I, like I've known them for a lifetime. You have. I, uh, yeah, which is true. I've probably known you for a very, yeah. very long time. This is incredible. How you can't be insecure about not having a film out for four years. Watch your friends come out with films. Some have devastating losses in the last two, three years. How can you not get like this FOMO? नहीं होता. I don't know why. A lot of people ask me this question. I just I guess I have the gift of being patient. I have the gift of being a very secure person. Like we were just uh, discussing before, my material, what do you call it? Material greed has become really less. Like I don't want to buy expensive things. I'm anyways overpaid. Uh, <laughs> I am. Uh, I have the opportunity to work with such great filmmakers who are spending so much of money on my films uh, to better them, to to make good entertainers. I have nothing to be insecure about, you know. Your last film made three hundred, brother. Mm -hmm. So it makes sense, na? <laughs> I guess, yeah. Sure. One of her films made three hundred crores as well. Yeah. When you look at annals of Wikipedia and you know you see how much money the films have made, yeah, must feel nice, no? Yeah, but I also am aware that it's a Hrithik Roshan and Tiger Shroff pulling in the crowd. I'm yeah. just getting to you know showcase my talent via that platform. And for There me, it's Rajkumar Hirani, and it's a Sanjay Dutt biopic. You know, so you have to have your head on your shoulders. You have to know what your place is in life. You should not get too swayed by success, and don't get, don't get, you know, bogged down by failure. You just have to go do your work, do your best, and then just leave it to audience. That's my philosophy in life. I've never seen more people tremble in the last uh, two years in Bollywood like I've seen now. I've never seen critics with their fangs out. I've never seen people dissing out. Uh, the Hindi film industry, like I've never seen before. Yeah. Everyone true. thinks that they have an opinion. They know more than you. Sometimes I and I I'm, I'm fighting that I'm going really two years ago you weren't even like looking this way now suddenly KGF and they suddenly see a background score that runs for three hours in the film and they say wow this is amazing uh, TikTok and the reels make a huge difference uh, you know as a performer you know whenever you're trying to like see should I better performance or you know you're questioning does that sway you at all like maybe I need to change my selection of films. I mean, as of now, I'm thinking like I'm going by my gut instinct and my sensibilities of what I like as an audience, and those are the kind of whatever work that comes my way. I try to pick that suits my, uh, you know, sensibilities the yeah, most. Yeah. Uh, but you never know. I mean, if people start dissing every film that I'm doing, then maybe so I'm picking the wrong ones. Maybe I would try and experiment and do something else. As of now, I do understand and realize that yes, the audience was a lot forgiving. A lot much more forgiving uh, earlier. Yeah. Uh, also, because we have another platform, OTT platform, where people are feeling okay, we can watch things at the comfort of our own house. For free. And, and yeah, like yeah. you don't have to spend. Because when you're going to a theater, I understand a middle class person for them, it's it, it can get expensive. You're buying popcorns for your yeah, kids. Yeah. You're buying coke. You're buying. It's not like you can pack ho food from home and come and sit yeah. like eat your own dal chawal by watching a yeah. theatrical film. Imagine the smell in the theater. That <laughs> yeah, you just have a. It's like, that, it's like you know, a plane that Concussion goes to London. Of, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Listen, Rabi, I heard that you had a horrible time shooting with the heat, mm. and you know, with all the stuff that was on. And uh, a little birdie on the set told me that you were so quiet all the time; you did not speak to anyone, sitting on a little corner, not speaking to anyone. I don't know. I think was that birdie right? Yeah, the birdie was absolutely yeah. right. Uh, but I've always been like that, yeah. and especially you know when you have such a physically tiring film, yeah. you need to conserve your energy. Yeah. Also, my co-actor who's sitting on my right, her <laughs> she herself sits with her headphones on, <laughs> so there was nobody to really talk to. Yeah. I uh, used to always take out my headphones when he was around. I was like, hello, hello, <laughs> hi. Uh, but having said that, you know, uh, uh, as you're growing older, also yeah. you understand um, uh, that just to make polite conversation and all, you know, you don't have, you don't have. Uh, You don't feel the need. You to. don't feel the need to. You know, yeah, yeah. you don't feel like talking to someone. You feel, you know, you work with comfortable people, your friends, yeah. people you admire, and calm. Kar rahe, yar. Calm yeah. ke time, calm karna chahiye. Yeah. So that's pretty much that. But the heat did fuck me, man. The yeah. heat killed me. <laughs> like I, I, like I can't even begin to tell you. Yeah. See, also you have to understand. I did this film parallelly with Brahmastra. Yeah. I was shooting Brahmastra, yeah. and then I was shooting Shamshira back then, back then. Uh, and I was playing two characters here, so I also had to wear a fake beard. Yeah. And when you were a itching, the boss. When you were a you fake beard. You could be abused and how by him, like the touch is when even closer. Yeah, to the and there's gum on your face in the heat, and you're doing action. I can't tell you. I mean, this is what Chinese torture must feel like. <laughs> It's exactly that. I haven't felt so much discomfort in my life. Yeah. And the worst part is that I developed OCD during this film. Really? Uh, yes. So 
dust and gum was just playing on my mind. So half of the time when I'm sitting alone and people think, oh, you're such a quiet person, you know, well-behaved, you know, I'm only cursing <laughs> myself. I'm like moving my facial muscles, you know, trying to smile. I can't do anything. I'm trapped. Yeah. But Yashar gives a royal treatment. I also heard the little birdie also told me there was a gym set constructed, little gym constructed there and he's working out for the final shot. It wasn't really a gym. It was a sasta gym, a Me tent too. where I just got a couple of dumbbells because, you know, the entire climax was a shirtless climax. Yeah. I'd never done that. Yeah. Uh, so it was very important that, you know, I, I, I at least look presentable. Uh, and that's the... That's the hardest because you're working out and then you're giving a shot and you're just like constantly working out. Oh, you the you built up a lovely bulky physique in Sanju. Yeah. So it's... I did, but for Shamshera, for Brahmastra, I'm very lean. So when ah. I was shooting Brahmastra, I was lean. Then I was coming here and suddenly I had to put on weight. So I could not really bulk up too much. I had to be in the same frame. Uh, but Karan was very clear because it's a period film. So it didn't need a modern body or anything yeah. as such. You just had to look tough. Karan was very clear. Yeah. One, you eat samosa and then <laughs> you hit the gym. And Karan, by the way, is very clear also that if you don't listen to what I say, you're both out of the film. <laughs> you see, he's, he's, a, he's a very silent assassin kind of scene. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't he easy yeah. You gauge that from him. From but, but it's true, right? He's. I wouldn't call Karan an assassin. Karan, please, I love you. Take me yeah. in your next. Yeah. <laughs> Just saying. But he's also, he's also, he needs something running on his back. We're having a little chat sometime back. It's not like if somebody says, picture is not good. He'll be saying, no problem, I'll sign another one. Correct. You know, also when you take such a long break, uh, it's you're starting with zero. Mm -hmm. True. You know, they fought and brothers, kitna collection. Yeah. Right? Because we're in, so we understand. Yeah. Agnipat, I was checking 10 years now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's another lifetime. Another lifetime. Was he, was he stressed? Uh, he was stressed, but he also, I think, understood and realized the project that he had in hand. Yeah. He had a lot of pressure, you know, uh, the kind of budget that it required, the scale that it required. So I'm sure he was very, very, very pressurized and he had to be in control. You know, he had to be the ringleader. There were 350 people who was only turning to him for answers. So he had to be the man in charge. And I'm sure he must have come with a lot of pressure yeah. to make a film like this. Does he give pressure when he's performing with you? Ranbi? Yeah. No, he's so effortless. Like, firstly, though, I don't know when he's switched on and switched off and, like, he's transitioning. He'll be one one moment, he'll be talking about, I don't know what, random things. Yeah. And then, the current will be action. I'm still thinking about what he said yeah. while he's, like, in tune with what is to be delivered. You do that purposely, no? No, 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 no. No, I don't think he tries to distract you. Yeah. But, but I think he's so effortless with yeah. his uh, performances. Like, he doesn't need time and method to get into the skin of anything. I, mean, I think so already... with, with, no, I think what, what happens with me is that I start doing the work so earlier on, you know, yeah. with the director, that while you're on set, so you don't have the pressure of being so like on and focused. So because I've put on a lot of I've put in a lot of effort and hours before the film has started. So then you kind of get the rhythm and it's not like I'm like this every day. There are some scenes which are very intense or some scenes which are emotional and you kind of have to be in that mood. You can't help it. You know, it's some, somewhere subconsciously you get into that space. But I like to keep it very easy on set. You know, like I said, like those extra method actors are very selfish actors. You know, they make it about themselves. Uh, like it's my process and let me get into the zone and all because it's not about you. There are 350 people waiting yeah. for you to give a shot, finish it and they want to go home. So you have to be very, very um, careful, you know. Easy, easy peasy. Listen, I've uh, constructed, I, I mean, I spoke to an astrologer. It's a, it's a, it's a dream for you all, huh? for you and Alia. 22, 23 and this is six months back. He had said all this would work. Gangubai was one of them. And, and this juggernaut that the two of you are going to be, it's going to be fantastic for you. Really? I don't have your birth details, so I, I couldn't you, actually say I'll that. Right after when is your birthday? He's actually so fantastic. 23rd August. Ah, so he actually predicted Dhoni would become a superstar 10 years before. Oh. And he does a what's lot of that. Who is he? A uh, friend of mine, Greenstone. Okay. And he does it for the Indian cricket team. And what's wow. his, like how does he do it? What, what kind of astrology? He's a mathematician. Okay, so it's he You can't change anything. Hmm. You, you can't wear the rings and you can't do any puja, I can't do jack. That's fab. Yeah, it, 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 it's, it's as it is. But sir, you think it's true though? Like, yes, sir. You think there's a science behind it? Absolutely, brother. I, I also think there's faith behind it. If you believe in it, anything yeah. is possible, yeah. anything comes true. It's putting your faith into it, no? He told me never act again because it won't work and it, it's true. <laughs> and I'm not doing he it. He said that to you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, he said stick with it. So, but you have, a, you have a blockbuster in 2013. Yeah, yeah? okay. We'll uh, not talk about all that. But I'm, I'm saying, no, no, no. We'll, we'll talk separately with that. But, but are, are, while I'm part of, there's a couple of things that do come in. You know, you have to sort of think, do you think about all this, the sun and the moon and the stars and faith and destiny and all that? It happens so much in Bollywood, it starts getting, getting in your head. People yeah, start saying, yeah. you're the lucky charm. Yeah, They're yeah. calling Kiara lucky charm now. Every yeah. film you do, it's working. It has to play on your mind. I don't disregard it, but I'm not so deep into it either. I think, yeah. But I, I don't disrespect it. 
You? I try and stay away from it because I have seen so many people around me, I, my own family, uh, you know, who are so dependent on it. You know, like some people don't even like meet a person because the astrologer said don't meet a person what? at this certain day or a certain date and stuff like that. So you have to be very careful because it can really take over your life. You know, you have to still know that, okay, understand it, but make your own choices and life is not... Uh, it's 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 fate, you know. It's not so planned, and it's not God has not given you a chart of life. Ke parsu ye hoga, tarsu ye hoga. But twenty two, तो मान ले बहुत अच्छा. अच्छा है वो बस. अच्छा है. सही है. Once we get your details, I'll figure it out, guys. Thanks for to joining me on Star Stop. Uh, like I said, twenty second July. It's a film that we've been waiting for for him at least for four years. She's actually been coming into our space nicely for the last two three years. It better work. Like I said, the astrologer says it will work. The production is saying it will work. The buzz is right. I think it should all work. I'll see you soon. See you guys.